Greetings, plant enthusiasts. Welcome back to where we embark on a journey through the extraordinary world of flora. Today we have an exciting adventure ahead as we explore some of the most unusual and fascinating plants from around the globe. If you're ready to be amazed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to join us on more botanical adventures. Let's dive in. Plants come in all shapes and sizes, but today, we're focusing on the outliers, the botanical wonders that defy expectations. From carnivorous wonders to living stones, the plant kingdom has surprises waiting at every turn. Our first stop takes us to the mysterious world of. Our first unusual plant is a true living fossil, the Wawichia mirabilis. Hailing from the Namib desert, this bizarre plant consists of only two leaves that continuously grow throughout its life, sometimes reaching lengths of over 20 feet. Join me as we uncover the secrets of this remarkable survivor in one of the world's oldest deserts. Now, let's shift our focus to the carnivorous side of the plant kingdom with the infamous Venus flytrap. Found in the wetlands of the southeastern United States, this incredible plant roars, captures, and digests insects. Stay tuned to witness the mesmerizing and rapid movements of this botanical predator. Get ready for an olfactory adventure as we explore the Amorphophallus titanum, commonly known as the corpse flower. Famous for its enormous size and foul odor resembling a rotting corpse, this plant attracts pollinators with a scent that can be detected from miles away. Join me as we unveil the fascinating bloom of this stinky marvel. Our next stop takes us to the mysterious world of lithops, commonly known as living stones. These remarkable succulents from southern Africa have evolved to mimic the appearance of stones, providing them with camouflage in their arid environments. Let's explore the unique adaptations that make lithops truly one of a kind. Colon in the heart of dense swamps and subtropical forests, we discover the ghost orchid. Known for its delicate and ethereal beauty, this elusive orchid has captured the fascination of plant enthusiasts and explorers alike. Join me as we delve into the enchanting world of the ghost orchid. Wellwichia mirabilis, commonly known as the Wellwichia, is a truly extraordinary plant that resides in the harsh landscapes of the Namib Desert in southwestern Africa. This living fossil has captivated botanists and nature enthusiasts alike with its unique appearance and remarkable ability to survive in one of the world's oldest and most arid environments. Physical Characteristics Leaf Structure One of the most distinctive features of the Wellwichia is its too long, strap-like leaves. These leaves are not annual, but rather, they continue to grow throughout the plant's lifespan. Over time, they can become withered and tattered, giving the plant an otherworldly appearance. Adaptations The Wilwichia has evolved to withstand the harsh desert conditions. Its leaves absorb moisture from fog that rolls in from the nearby Atlantic Ocean, allowing the plant to survive in an environment where water is scarce. Habitat and Endurance Namib Desert Wilwichia mirabilis is native to the Namib Desert, where it can endure extreme temperatures and minimal rainfall. The desert is one of the oldest on Earth, dating back over 55 million years. Longevity These living fossils are known for their incredible longevity, with some specimens estimated to be over 2,000 years old. The plant's ability to adapt to its harsh surroundings has allowed it to thrive in conditions where few others can. Cultural and Scientific Significance Botanical marvel, Wilwichia mirabilis is a testament to the resilience of life in challenging environments. Its ability to survive for centuries in the desert showcases the ingenuity of nature. Scientific exploration, the Wilwichia has been a subject of scientific study and exploration. Its unique adaptations have provided insights into how plants can adapt to extreme environments, offering valuable information for researchers studying desert ecosystems. Conservation Concerns Vulnerable Status Despite its resilience, Wilwichia mirabilis faces threats due to climate change and habitat destruction. Human activities, including off-road driving and mining, pose challenges to the survival of this iconic plant. Conservation Efforts Conservationists and researchers are actively working to protect and preserve Wilwichia populations. Efforts include habitat conservation, raising awareness, 
and studying the plant's biology to develop effective conservation strategies. The Venus flytrap, Dionea musipula, is a captivating carnivorous plant native to the wetlands of the southeastern United States, particularly in North and South Carolina. Renowned for its remarkable ability to trap and digest insects, the Venus flytrap has fascinated botanists and nature enthusiasts for generations. Physical Characteristics Modified Leaves The Venus flytrap's trapping mechanism is housed in its modified leaves, which form a structure resembling an open jaw. Each leaf has trigger hairs on the inner surface. Snap Trap Action When an insect makes contact with the trigger hairs, it initiates a rapid closure of the leaf, resembling a set of jaws. The trapping process is a result of an evolutionary adaptation to nutrient-poor soils. Carnivorous Adaptations Nutrient Absorption Thriving in nutrient-deficient soils, Venus flytraps have developed carnivorous adaptations to supplement their nutrient intake. By capturing and digesting insects, they extract essential nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus. Digestive Fluids Once closed, the leaf secretes digestive enzymes to break down the captured prey. The plant absorbs the nutrients released during digestion, providing essential elements for its growth. Habitat and Distribution Native Environment Venus flytraps are found in acidic, nutrient-poor soils of wetlands and bogs, where typical plants struggle to thrive. Their distribution is limited to specific regions along the U.S. Atlantic coastal plain. Conservation Concerns Venus flytraps face habitat loss due to human development and poaching. Efforts are underway to conserve their natural habitats and regulate the collection and trade of these unique plants. Cultural Significance Botanical Curiosity Venus flytraps have become iconic symbols of carnivorous plants and botanical curiosity. They often attract attention in botanical gardens, educational exhibits, and among plant collectors. Education and Awareness The Venus flytrap serves as an excellent educational tool, captivating people of all ages and promoting awareness about the diversity and ingenuity of plant life. Challenges and Care in Cultivation Specialized Environment While Venus flytraps can be cultivated, they require specific conditions to thrive. This includes acidic soil, high humidity, and an appropriate light regimen. Avoid overstimulation, the trapping mechanism of Venus flytraps is limited in how many times it can close before becoming ineffective. Overstimulation can exhaust the plant, so it's essential to allow time between captures for the plant to recover. The corpse flower, scientifically known as Amorphophallus titanum, earns its moniker as the stinky marvel due to its remarkable and, some might say, unpleasant characteristic, it produces one of the foulest odors in the plant kingdom. Native to the rainforests of Sumatra, this gigantic and rare flower has captivated the public's attention with its infrequent and extraordinary blooms. Physical Characteristics Gargantuan Size The corpse flower boasts an impressive size, with some specimens reaching heights of over 10 feet. The plant consists of a large spadix, central column, surrounded by a petal-like structure known as the spathe. Floral Mimicry the name corpse flower stems from the pungent odor it emits during blooming, resembling the smell of rotting flesh. This odor attracts carrion beetles and flies, which serve as pollinators. Rare Blooms and Blooming Process In frequent blooms, the corpse flower is known for its sporadic and infrequent blooming, with some individuals only flowering once every few years. Short Blooming Window When it does bloom, the process is rapid, typically lasting only 24 to 48 hours. This short window adds to the intrigue and excitement surrounding the event. Cultural Fascination Public Spectacle The corpse flower's rare blooms often become public spectacles, drawing crowds to botanical gardens and research institutions. Live streams and social media updates allow people worldwide to witness the unusual and brief event. Scientific interest, beyond its captivating appearance and odor, the corpse flower is of significant interest to scientists studying pollination mechanisms and the ecology of its native rainforest habitat. Conservation and Threats Habitat loss, like many rainforest species, the corpse flower faces threats from habitat destruction due to logging, 
agriculture, and urbanization. Conservation efforts, botanical gardens and conservation organizations worked to preserve the species in cultivation and protect its natural habitats. These efforts include education, research, and habitat conservation initiatives. Cultural Symbolism Symbol of resilience, the corpse flower, with its ability to thrive in challenging rainforest conditions and its rare and dramatic blooms, symbolizes resilience and the wonders of the natural world. Botanical rarity, its infrequent blooms contribute to its mystique, making it a symbol of rarity and uniqueness in the plant kingdom. And there you have it, fellow plant enthusiasts. A glimpse into the extraordinary and often bizarre world of, unusual plants. If you enjoyed this botanical journey, give it a thumbs up, share your favorite unusual plant in the comments, and, of course, don't forget to subscribe for more inspiring adventures in the plant kingdom. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of nature. Thank you.